Okay, let's talk resistance bands today. So I've got several different types here. The kind you want to buy is really based on your preferences and how you're going to be using them. And I think as you purchase and use a resistance band, you're gonna realize um, maybe you want a different kind or maybe you want to, to use them for different things. There's really no wrong decision as far as purchasing a resistance band. Just get yourself a couple and get to work and then you'll figure out if you maybe want to change it up a little bit. For our purposes today, we're gonna to go over long resistance bands and then also uh, short ones and some of their different uses. So you can make a decision that's good for you. Our first resistance band is just a long band. It's a loop and it doesn't come with anything else. But here you'll see I'm holding a carabiner if you purchase these, you can get them at Home Depot or Lowe's or your local hardware store, but make sure they hold weight. So you don't want some, you know, foo-foo carabiner that could, could bend or break. Make sure they hold a certain amount of poundage. Um, and oftentimes it will tell you on the little bucket, like what pounds it goes up to. So this, I would purchase one of these. And then if you want handlebars, or handles for your your resistance band you could always purchase these they have them everywhere now they're so cheap I mean six dollars for one of these yeah I mean read the reviews as you if you want to if like if you're purchasing off Amazon or whatnot but you can get yourself a couple of these for between 10 and, and 20 bucks so it shouldn't be much more than that um, so you don't need these but this is just if you want handles for your resistance band some people prefer these just because of comfort or they want to add, be able to add certain type of exercises that maybe you can't do with just the band, but you don't absolutely need these. I'm just showing you them for an option. All right, so next they do sell resistance bands with the carabiners already at the end. These are going to be more expensive, and, but you can purchase them in all different resistance strengths and um, that way you don't have to purchase a carabiner. I mean, this was really inexpensive. Um, this makes it so you don't have to, I guess, attach a carabiner, but the thing is, it doesn't loop. I mean, you can attach them to each other. I just get, um, for me personally, I don't love the idea of attaching these and using them the same way I would for uh, the, the loop resistance band. I, I do feel like this cuts down on the number of uses that you can have. However, you know, this is a preference for people. They don't want to have to worry about changing the carabiners and, and you still can loop it and you still can, um, change the, you know, attach them to handlebars. Actually these, I think these came with this set. But like I said, if cost is a factor too, they're gonna to be more expensive. Last is your average resistance band. These are ancient. I think I got these when I worked as a PE teacher. <laughs> these come with no carabiner. They come with the handles. I think one of my clients who's allergic to latex can buy them latex free now. So, and I'm pretty sure actually you can buy some of the other ones latex free. But what I will show you is they come and you'll have to see because different ones are structured differently, but they they actually have this little piece that holds the handlebar in place or that holds the hand the handle in place. The problem is these do at least in my experience, not always, but they do come off after you know after a certain amount of use or over a certain period of time. Like I said, just my experience. I'd read the reviews on any product and make sure you're making an educated decision, but these shouldn't break the bank. So if they do come off, it's obviously a really big inconvenience, <laughs> but um, you know, it, it wouldn't be like you just spent 50 bucks on four pair or four of these and then you lost a handlebar. And there are still things you could do if they do come off. I mean, I do like, it's actually kind of nice. My handlebars came off of these on a on another band, and I started using them for pull up, band pull aparts. And they don't they don't swing or sway, and I don't have to hold like a, a handlebar in my hand when I do it. So, I mean, you could always find other uses if it does break. Okay, now let's talk about the short bands 
or the hip circles. We're going to call them hip circles. I can't actually remember the the name for them, <laughs> but um, they sell them now in cloth and latex or plastic or rubber. Um, I don't even know what this is actually. If you've ever been to physical therapy, you may have seen these before, but in a very cheap, thin plastic where they can just be, they have like a roll of it and they can cut it off. And those snap and those break. And I would not recommend them for long-term use of exercise. I would strictly recommend those for physical therapy type exercises. For these, you wanna make sure that they're strong enough that you're able to push against them for a long period of time or to do repetitive motions and they're not going to snap or break. So this one is cloth and they now actually sell these in all different weights meaning like all different resistances. So this one, this is the X-Bands, I think. They sell all different brands. This is, you don't have to go and buy X-Bands, but they're thicker. I don't know if you can see that, yeah. They're thicker plastic or rubber, and they will not, I mean, unless I cut these things, they will not snap. And they were sold in a four pack. And the same thing with these. These are Glute Guru booty building bands. Don't go and get this brand. It doesn't have to be this brand, but they sell them in all different um, thicknesses and resistances. So this was also part of a four pack. I like having options. These are going to be really good for glute engagement. You can use these actually for some upper body exercises. So if you're going to be working out at home, I would highly recommend you get yourself a longer band or set of bands, you know, whatever you'd like, and then a shorter hip circle-ish uh, set of bands or band. And the reason is bands keep constant tension on your muscles. I mean, unless of course you're in the resting position on something or you're just standing there. As, as long as you're pushing or pulling against a band, unlike a dumbbell, it's going to keep constant tension on your muscles. So these are really good and you can also make exercises harder. You can change your exercise uh, routine up. And so they can. this can't hurt. If you're gonna be working out at home, I mean, I even take these to the gym and they're really great to travel with, but especially if you're working out at home, it can't hurt to get yourself uh, a band or a set of bands, both the long and the short ones. So I hope that helps. Let me know if you have any questions and keep training for life.